Oh my god! Oh, oh man. Oh my fucking soul. Hi my friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today is a Vikings Day. I'm so excited. We are watching Vikings season three, episode three. I almost said four, not there yet. Season three, episode three. Um, this one is called Warrior's Fate. Very, very excited to get into this episode. Uh, I won't go into a recap, but if you have not seen the last episode, click here. That'll take you right to the last episode. Then you can come back and watch this episode with me, my friends. Just wanna say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. If you've been here a day, if you've been here the whole time I've had YouTube, thank you so much, my friends. I really, really, really appreciate your support. Uh, you guys mean so much to me, and I really just wanna say thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. If you are not part of my community yet, please, if you feel so inclined, maybe after you watch the video with me, uh, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and just join our safe, uh, cozy space here in my living room. We hang out, we watch stuff, we drink coffee, tea, water, whatever y'all want to drink. You guys can have snacks and we just have a good time, a good, cozy, fun time. If you are watching this on Patreon, thank you, my friends. I really appreciate your support over there. It's really, really appreciated. Really, really appreciated. And if you want to check out Patreon, the links are below. All right, let's get in to Vikings. I'm really excited for this show. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, and let's go. So excited. Cheers. Vikings. Stranger approached me in the marketplace. He has cut his hand badly and has asked for our help. How did you do this? I don't know. I hope he's uh, trustworthy. Um, my name is Hobbit. Hobbit? Harbit. Hobbit? Harbit. I am a wanderer. And sometimes People offer me uh, hospitality and I sleep on the Wait, wasn't bed. that the uh, name of the last episode? The Wanderer? Interesting. Interesting. But do not think that I offer nothing in return. Hmm? I tell stories. Ooh. Will you sup with us? If that is acceptable with everyone. And to King Ragnar, of course. He's not there. He has not here. He and the men have gone raiding. Which I probably wouldn't have told him that. Just in case. And I think Siggy agreed with me. Did you see her face? You are talking behind my back. You don't want to do that. If you're prepared to share our farming secrets with the pagans, you do not in return ask them to share their boat building secrets with us. The Northmen, in the shape of Ragnar Lothbrook, are currently fighting beside us to help us gain the throne of Mercia. Correct. Sometimes I feel like King Ekbert wants to be a Viking. Like he would rather live with the Vikings than be a king in Wessex. I think he especially felt that way when Ethelstan was there. Why are we fighting for these Christians? Doing King Egbert's dirty work for him. It is about our people's future. And I do not want there to be endless conflict between us and the Christians. Yeah. Both of you, save your breath. Some of us will not see a dawn like this again. Let us try and speak well of each other. Hmm. And remember how much we have been through together. Rillo, wise words coming from you, my guy. <sighs> I hope nothing happens to her. I'm scared. I feel like it is, though, because if you remember the prophecy with the seer, it said that Ragnar's son, or Bjorn, 
will marry the daughter of a king. And as far as I know, she's not the daughter of a king. Please, spare my brother. He's still alive? I am shocked. Take me with you. I must fight. You can't even stand up, dude. Okay, never mind. As you can see, <laughs> you bastard. I am perfect. Well, you can you stand up, fight. but I don't know about fighting. Though, so, you know what? I guess it would be better for him to die in battle, like fighting and doing what he loves, than to just lay there and suffer and die. Aw, there's Ethelstan, there's Lagatha. Seriously, what if they got married? What would happen? Or can they get married? Are they allowed to get married to each other? Plowing, fertilizing, and sowing seed are the very basis of life. Indeed they are. You and Athelstan are invited back to my villa whenever you choose to come. Very, very interesting. Oh, here they go. I have a feeling she's going to die. The wife... Bjorn's wife, I mean. I hope I'm wrong. Careful, Bjorn. Wait. I will go first. He's gonna die anyway. Pretty sure of it. There they are. Oh, ow. Right in the knee. What is he doing? He just wants to get as close as he can or what? Ah. Well, at least he got one. You know, that scene reminded me when he was kneeling with the arrows. That reminded me of the scene in Lord of the Rings with Boromir. Such a good scene. And here they come. Alright, where's Bjorn's wife? And she's with child. Oh, there she is. Is that her? I can't tell. It was too fast. Damn. This is a really cool scene. The music, the way that they're like shooting it. It's really cool. Yeah, that, there she is. There she is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. He like sliced her face. <gasps> Ragnar, that was so close. Jesus Christ. Okay, this this is stressing me out. Dear God. Wait, he's supposed to be on the Viking side. Is he going to kill them? Okay. Okay, good. 
I was like, wait a minute. Traitor. God. Oh, he's going to protect him. Now Ragnar has a freaking wound. Which doesn't look too horrible. But I'm having flashbacks to Game of Thrones where Cal Drogo got a wound that was like nothing. And he ended up dying from it. It's oh, the same thing better not happen to Ragnar. Yeah, your sister saved you, dude. Okay, I need to know if Bjorn's wife is okay. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. By the way, they did not get married. Girlfriend. Lover. Partner. Whatever. Because they kind of just left that and I didn't get to see if she was okay. I did see her get sliced on her face. Walked for many I really months, hope they can trust this guy. Because I don't I know. I think Siggy's more wary of him. What did you tell him? Than the other two. I'd be the same way. I don't trust him. I mean, he's entertaining, but I don't trust him. Then what happened to you? Oh, I told the king that he had put me to shame. Who's that? Oh. No one. He's your son. He needs to see me. Why? All the pain is going away, Ivor. All the pain is going away. No more pain. It's all going away. Oh, maybe he is a good guy then. Good. Aw, he's good so cute. Boy. Good boy. How did you do that? So he took his pain into him? A uh, big bath, like a thought, exactly. Who will join me? Oh. This could get dangerous. There is another place, a great city, which the Romans built, and it's... All right, they're just all in. <laughs> That's hilarious. I visited there with the Emperor Charlemagne. Ethelstan. I visited Paris myself. I remember when I saw it for the first time. It was like a dream, as if it were not real. It lies on the other side of a narrow stretch of water. Many here trade with the French, <laughs> and... He did that on purpose. It's wrong. What they're doing is wrong, or what you're thinking? <laughs> Ethelstone, you might want to leave. <laughs> Uh, yep. I wanted something to happen. I wanted something to happen between you and so me. So I should felt guilty. Right there in the water, in front of them. I didn't care. I have a child. I'm a Christian. Nothing happened and you've done no wrong. Oh boy. <laughs> Too bad Judith's married. Ethel Stan deserves someone. Okay, let's find out. Is she dead? Okay, well, he's dead, but we knew that. This is your fault, Ratna. Toshten has died fighting for a hill he did not want to own. <sighs> I did not force Toshten, or any of you to come for that matter. You all chose to be here. You had better come and see your son. Oh no. Oh no, did she die? Oh god. Please tell me she didn't die. Oh. Okay. She's alive, but she does not look good. It's my fault. We didn't protect her. We fight. That is how we win. And that is how we die. But she's with child. I 
and you let her come. <laughs> uh oh. She will probably die. And it will be your fault. Because you have the strength of a man, but the will of a little girl. I can't believe you're my son. Ragnar. I can't even look at you. He didn't mean that, I don't think. <laughs> no, he didn't mean that. He's just upset. Yeah, I... She wants to live. I don't think she'll die, but her face is going to be... It's going to be not good. If she hears you weeping and lamenting, she will choose to die. Well, at least Rolo is being more level-headed. Be a man. Never thought I'd say that Walk about so Rolo. From Valhalla. Bugger has something to say to you. I am young. I was led by evil counselors. I beg your forgiveness, King. Now is not the time. Ooh. Yeah, it's not the time. Just let him go. I'll forgive you. Oh, Lagatha, you really need to go to your son, man. He could use you. Our armies have defeated the Mercians. <laughs> you must stay. We are ready to sow the first crop. And sacrifice to Frey to ensure its success. We will stay for the sacrifice. My lord. I said we will stay. This is going to be interesting because they don't sacrifice things. Who is that? Look by all the gods! Could I call it my net? What? Children? My son! My poor son! Oh no! So far out to sea. Oh no. Oh no, it was the healer guy, the wanderer. To save Ivar, he must have. Him. He must have taken life from. from other kids. Oh man. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I don't want to see the cow hurt. I know it's not real, but I hate it. I hate seeing animals hurt or killed or whatever in TV shows and movies. Uh, I hope they don't show it. You two. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this is one of the only parts of being a Viking I just couldn't get behind. The animal sacrifices. Innocent animals. Oh, and the human sacrifices. <laughs> Those two. Every nine years. Yeah. But man, look at Lagatha. She looks awesome. Ooh, look at the king. He's like, oh my god. Sorry, I think I just got really loud there. I'll turn it down during editing. <laughs> I still forget the microphone is right here. Unless they renounce their false gods and heathen ways, we should not allow them to stay any longer. Uh-oh. Did he get scared off?
Oh, there's the priest. A stranger has come to Kattegat. Queen Ausla cannot comfort her son Ivar when he is suffering. But this man, he... He takes away Ivar's pain. What have the gods told you? What have you foreseen? They told me nothing. They have neither warned me nor promised me anything. Remember Siggy or somebody had a dream of... I think we dreamt that you were... Oh, of him dead. You were tied up, that you were bleeding. Oh, man. Alrighty, my friends. That was the end of that episode. What an amazing episode. Wow. So first, I just want to talk about Bjorn. Okay. So his wife, well, I keep saying wife, but they're not married. Whatever. You know what I mean. His girlfriend, partner, isn't dead. I don't think she's going to die. At least I really hope not. But her face is all, I mean, even if she recovers, I feel like her face is, uh, is not going to recover very well. Man, the way that Ragnar yelled at Bjorn when he found out she was pregnant, like he said some pretty horrible things to him. And I feel really bad for Bjorn. I mean, it's not his fault that she decided to come you know she knew she was with child as well but i guess back in the day it was different um if he had told her to stay she probably would have had to stay i'm assuming or you know at least there would have been more of a it's more of a command kind of situation like no you're staying kind of thing but man ragnar really fucked up he should have been there if he, for Bjorn. He really should have been there for him, like like Rolo was, surprisingly. Um, and I know he doesn't mean it. Like he didn't mean the things that he said. He was just upset, but still, like that was that was really bad. That was really bad. Really, really disappointed in Ragnar with that. I get it. He was upset, but like you don't say that to your kid. You just don't say that. He said, what, I wish I wish you weren't my kid, or what the hell did he say? I can't even look at you, I can't believe you're my son, something like that. Like, that's... When your his partner is about to die, like, that's, that's, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, so anyway, that was... I don't know what's gonna happen with them now. I really don't. Ragnar's gonna have a lot of um, apologizing to do with Bjorn, I feel like, for them to like mend their relationship. But moving on from Bjorn, let's go to Ethelstan and his lovely, and Judith, <laughs> Ethelstan and Judith. They are so adorable together. I really, really want them to to end up with each other. I just don't know how that's going to be possible because she's married to the king's son, not just like a servant or foreigner, to the king's son. So that kind of complicates things even more, I would say. She has a child with him. Even if she did leave, let's say she didn't want to be in the relationship anymore. Well, I, I don't think she does anyway, but... Let's say she hypothetically left the king's son. What's his name? Athelwolf? Theowulf? Athelwolf? Um, how would they be together anyway? Because Ethelstan, I'm assuming, is probably going to go back to Ketiket, where the Vikings are. Unless he stays with the land that they got and helps farm it and stuff then maybe they could be together. I don't know. And to top, or, and uh, on top of that, I don't know if King Eckbert, I wanna say he wasn't scared of what he saw at the end there of the sacrifice, because I think he's just so obsessed with Lagatha and the Viking way. Like he's just, he just really wants to know 
everything there is to know about it. He wants to experience everything that they experience. That's the vibe I get from him. But the look on his face at the end, I wasn't sure if he was actually scared and he's going to listen to his men and be like, nope, never mind, you can't, you guys can't be here. Or if he was even more like taken in with Lagatha, I'm leaning towards the ladder. Could be wrong, but I'm leaning towards the ladder there. So yeah, that was also very interesting to see. Oh, and then yeah, the Wanderer guy. Yeah, I don't know, I don't trust him. Even though he like healed Ivar, uh, I think he killed those two boys to do it. And he just seems suspicious. He seems suspicious. And I'm glad at least Siggy is suspicious of him. I feel like the other two should be way more suspicious. And I do not like how the queen told him that Ragnar wasn't there. And you saw Siggy's face. She was like, Ugh, why did you do that kind of thing? But um, anyway, that is it for today's episode, my friends. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching with me. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click the subscribe button below. I would love to have you in my community. I would love to have you uh, be a member and just hang out with me and everybody here in our little YouTube community. If you are watching on Patreon, Thank you so much, my friends. I really, really appreciate your support. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube and you are subscribed to me and like and comment on my videos as often as you can and you watch my videos all the way through, thank you, thank you, my friends. I really, really appreciate it. <sighs> Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. And, uh, that's it, my friends. If you want to check out my Patreon, the links are below. Lots of benefits over there, so please, please go take a look. I think you'll enjoy it, and I would love to have you over there. And uh, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me, my friends. I will see you all on the next video. Bye, friends.